Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just wanted to take a quick minute and talk about my trip that I took with my family. Um, this weekend we had a great time. We actually went over to the Eastern province in Saudi Arabia. And um, I just wanted to share really quickly, but before I do that, please be sure to like and subscribe to this vlog and be sure to also hit the notifications bell. So that way when I do post, you can see it. I don't post too frequently, so I'm not gonna be flooding your timeline with videos, but at the same time, I feel like if that bell isn't hit, you're not going to see anything. Anyways, y'all, we spent the, um, the better part of the weekend basically traveling over to Dumam and Al Khobar. We, we took our car there and um, it was, you know, kind of a long drive. It felt like a long drive. The speed limit has been increased from 120 to 140, but the, uh, the road felt still kind of bumpy and shaky and a little bit loud on the way there. Um, the road was pretty nice, pretty clear. There were a lot of trucks. We actually left on Friday morning and we got there about Friday afternoon. And, you know, going from Riyadh, it's just kind of like this, I mean, it is the capital city, but I just feel like Al Khobar, it feels like Los Angeles, but with like fewer problems, like a smaller version of Los Angeles, like in a good way. Um, maybe more like San Diego, I guess. It's just, the roads are quite nice. Um, the sea at this time, it's, or not the sea, pardon me, the Arabian Gulf or the Persian Gulf, whatever you want to call it, um, it gives off a very nice, cool breeze. So as, as soon as you get up closer to Dammam, it, it feels a little bit cooler. Um, the humidity that's usually there throughout the year uh, wasn't there. Our accommodation was okay. Um, I am a member of this you know, organization of hotels, and unfortunately, this time, I felt like it wasn't really up to scratch the way that it usually is. And we're empty. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I mean, alhamdulillah, it was still a good trip. Um, we did have a chance to get some coffee near the Corniche. They have a new, uh, a new place for people to hang out. It's called like Ejdan Walk. Um, the whole area now, actually right now I'm speaking, it's, it's the end of 2024 and the whole area there is actually kind of under construction. Ajdan Walk is pretty much open, almost all of it, but the rest of the Corniche is largely under, uh, under construction, so that's something to bear in mind. Um, that said, we had, uh, a good, we had a good lunch and we had some coffee. We had a chance to spend some time near the, the, the Arabian Gulf. After that, we went back and I checked out the local souk. Um, one thing that did happen, mind you, and, and something to keep in mind, is my car got towed, and that was quite a surprise. Um, we in, in Riyadh, as far as I can understand, we don't really have any paid parking areas, but they do in, in Al Khobar. So we went to this place called Rahmania Center, or Rahmania Plaza, whatever it is, and um, it's got a lot of cool stuff. And we parked, and when we parked, there was like a bus. We parked, and I didn't see any sign. See, this is the, the, the only issue I had was I didn't see any sign anywhere um, for paid parking. Usually in the US, we have like, you know, like, like a sign after sign after sign after sign saying paid parking. This one, I just parked. I'm like, well, hey, there's like a plenty of open parking here, so I'll just park here. And we did our thing. We went to the uh, Rahmania Plaza. We really enjoyed the Rahmania area or neighborhood of um, Al Khobar. It's kind of like a traditional uh, souk feeling. It has a souk feeling, but it's on a grid system. So it, it's at the same time quite orderly. And when we came back, I thought, I was just like, where's the car, you know? This is the, it's never happened to me once in Saudi Arabia that I had an issue with my car like being taken. And I thought, I thought the car got stolen. So I just, I was shocked and then the, the bus, there was another bus and it moved and I saw the sign, it said paid parking, but it's mostly in Arabic. So, I mean, I can read Arabic, but I wouldn't have noticed otherwise. And I, I called the phone number on there and the person wasn't really too helpful. Actually, I had to get, uh, I had to download the app and Alhamdulillah, because I can read Arabic, I could actually read the name of the app. It's called, I think, Vekki or something like that, which is quite ironic. Anyways, I, download, I downloaded the app and the, the fee was 500 and like after tax, 531 rials or something like this, some kind of outrageous uh, fee. And I found out that the, the car was towed, but on the app, it doesn't tell you where to pick up the car, uh, what to do after you pay. I paid the fee and then there's just no, there's just a confirmation message that you paid for the, you paid the fee, but there's no like instructions, go here, pick up your vehicle. So I was still just kind of like, 
you know, shocked. Like, where do I go? What do I do? And um, we ended up talking to some, some of the workers that were in Rahmania. And one of the cleaners is just like, King Fahad Street. I'm like, is that where the car is? He's like, no English. <laughs> so anyways, I ran up to King Fahad Street um, as fast as I possibly could and looked around. And I did find it like an impound center, I guess, is what we would call it. And the guys there were pretty, pretty friendly. And I said, you know, sorry, you know, I didn't mean to break the rules. Like, we don't have this in Al Riyadh. I'm from out of town. And like, you know, I'm just happy the car wasn't stolen. And he said, it's OK, we understand. But anyways, I still paid the money. Uh, after that, so that was quite eventful. That was the evening of, uh, that was Friday evening. The next day, I would say, was a lot better because we had a chance to uh, go to the sea. We had a chance to um, go to a, a nice masjid near. Uh, the Corniche, again in Al-Khobar, and um, we, we basically enjoyed the day. We, we popped here, we popped around here and there. We wanted to go to the museum, but we found that it was actually closed on Saturdays until like four, something like that. So that was kind of unfortunate. So we didn't get a chance to go to the museum. Um, after that, we had a nice cup of coffee at Dr. Kaif. Um, there aren't many, so we went actually over to Demam for the Dr. Kaif uh, cafe. And... Um, there are plenty of really, really nice, all right, granted, in Al Khobar now there are plenty of specialty cafes, but I wanted that little taste of Saudi Arabia. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like, the specialty cafes are great, but you know, I wanted more than just an espresso. I wanted to have like a hot mocha or something like this. And I really like the Dr. Kaif mocha. So we went there, we finished up the vacation, and we drove around a little bit more. Um, and that was about it. After that, we drove back and we drove from the late afternoon into the evening. Again, the traffic was pretty, uh, pretty standard. It was busy. Um, the, lo the road wasn't uh, lit. Actually, it doesn't have lighting on a lot of it. So that's something to bear in mind if you, if you drive in the nighttime. But other than that, guys, it was a great trip. And I hope that you also had a great weekend. I just thought I'd share mine. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And I'll try to get back to them. And again, please be sure to like and subscribe to this vlog. I try to post at least twice uh, weekly or at least once a week most of the time. So. Anyways, y'all, take care. Assalamu alaikum. And inshallah, also be posting more uh, idioms and other uh, English-related content as well. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Bye-bye.